Are you grounded? Hi, I'm Suzanne Clegg, and I'm an acupuncturist, a sound healer. Um, I do distance healing, and it's important to be grounded. And you might be grounded now. You might not be looking at the Facebook, doing all those things. So I um, thought I'd share with you the four ways that um, I ground myself. And uh, it's quick. First, the physical. Let's um, just be aware of our physical body on the earth. Feel gravity holding us down, the earth holding us up. The next level up is uh, the life force. Breathe. And ground ourselves in the fact that we're alive. There's the truth to this. Good. Next level up is imagination or the astral or emotions. Imagine a cord going down from the top of your head, down through your body, down into the center of the earth, and just sort of anchor yourself down there. Okay, good. And now let's uh, ground in the spirit, into our true nature, into our divine essence. The way I like to do that is to imagine my hara, which is right below my navel, um, inside my pelvis. I feel a quietness in there, and I just feel myself holding or or being uh, my divine self, sort of in that location. There you go. There's the grounding. How do you ground yourself? Let me know what you think. Okay, bye.